హలో వెల్కమ్ టు కోట్ విత్ విజయ్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ విజయనాథ్ విశ్వనాథన్ ఐఎమ్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ సీనియర్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఇంజనీర్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై పర్సన్ బ్లాగ్ కోట్ విత్ విజయ్ డాట్ కామ్ యూ క్యాన్ ఫైండ్ మీ ఆన్ లింక్డ్ ఇన్ గిట్ హ్యాప్ అండ్ ట్విట్టర్ యాజ్ వెల్ టుడే విల్ సీ హౌ యూ క్యాన్ హోస్ట్ ఎ స్టాటిక్ వెబ్సైట్ ఇన్ ఎస్ త్రీ సో సే ఐ ఐ టెల్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సే యూ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ ఎ బిజినెస్ అండ్ యూ నో యూ వాంట్ టు హోస్ట్ ఎ స్టాటిక్ వెబ్సైట్ so i remember that static website a website and you have uh, say millions of hit per day okay in in that scenario you can either you can you know, go with uh, your own server uh, or you can host it in s3 so s3 would be the very best option why because if you are going with uh, your own server uh, then you have to set up everything uh, you know from server and if if the hit is you know pretty huge in a day then probably you need a pof- powerful server or you need a mul- multiple servers and you have to uh, set up load balancing and all those things so we have to spend uh, you know money on all those uh, infrastructure setup okay and if uh, the load again increasing then you have to scale your servers and load balancing and you have to take care of everything so that be you know a total hassle and you have to spend a lot of time and money for that okay so s3 uh, static host uh, static website hosting is a real saver uh, because you know uh, amazon will take care of everything you know uh, only thing is you have to host uh, your static website in s3 and remaining everything uh, aws will take care uh, from load balancing or you know scaling up servers and all those things uh, will take care by uh, aws so that is uh, the best option to host static websites okay so that's the whole concept of uh, s3 static website hosting uh, and uh, i'll i'll jump straight into uh, hands on hands on lab and i'll show how to uh, you know host a static website in s3 bucket okay so let me jump uh, straight into uh, aws console uh, so i have logged into my aws console so uh, let me go to s3 okay let me uh, go one of these buckets so say let me go to code with vichy this bucket okay and when you come to properties tab you can see here static website hosting okay this is the place and uh, this is the you know uh, settings we have to enable for static website hosting so let me enable it okay uh, and let me select uh, use this bucket to host website okay that option and uh, here actually you know we have to mention um, the index uh, page or the page uh, you know um, it we should load first okay so i don't have uh, an index.html so what i'm go- going to going to do is i'll uh, you know that that name can be any name uh, but you know the default the default page we need to load that should that we should mention here okay so let me do one thing uh, let me create um, two html files okay one is for the home page and another one is for error page okay let me create that now uh, so i have created uh, two sample uh, and simple uh, html pages so let me uh, show you show you the code of that one okay let me edit it you can see it's in you know, a pretty uh, very simple html and you know just one heading and you know Uh, it will write code with vj when i open uh, the website when i host it so that is one and okay when i open this one so again another very simple html okay and you can see you know that will write uh, this text whenever in any error happened okay so so i should upload uh, these two files to Uh, my s3 bucket uh, after i mentioned the name um, you know name of the home page and error page so in in uh, our example uh, my home page uh, would be code with vijay dot uh, html and error page will be error page dot html okay now uh, let me go to my aws console so before that let me uh, copy this name okay no i mean uh, aws console uh, let me give this one dot 
record with widget.html and the other one is error page.html okay so i've mentioned uh, uh, two pages i want to load one for error and one before uh, home page okay now let me save this so now you can see uh, this is enabled okay now i have to upload uh, those two files to um, my bucket okay let me go and upload that one okay uh, before uploading uh, the files i want to show uh, the url which airable is generated for us so when you click uh, here bucket hosting you can see uh, this would be uh, the url uh, you know when we load this url it will load the home page that is code with uh, vj.html uh, we can actually you know uh, this is uh, aws generated one we can uh, give or we can uh, you know go ahead with our own url uh, but you know that would be the part of uh, route 53 that is another service but you know uh, now i'm going ahead with uh, aws generated url okay you can see uh, this url and you know uh, appending with amazon.aws.com okay now let me go and uh, upload uh, to html files let me go to uh, s3 uh, code with vj and let me click upload so click on add files and here i have uh, these two html's okay uh, selected both of that and click open and click next and obviously as that is a website uh, i won't give full permission uh, basically really permission to everyone okay i've given that permission click next click next upload so now uh, you know both those pages has been uploaded okay now uh, when i click on this url uh, i should be able to see uh, code with vj.html with message hello code with vj okay let me click on that so this is the page and you can see this url and uh, this is the message or this is the html uh, that i have uploaded okay let me click view page source you can see uh, the same html okay now let me uh, try error.html so what i'm going to do is i'm uh, going to revoke permission um, here in permissions no, that one. Uh, or instead of change permissions uh, let me delete this html okay so once i delete uh, this html um, you know aws can't find uh, code with vj.html because of that it should go to uh, error page okay so let's see that's working uh, let me go to properties bucket hosting and when i click on this uh, url i should get the error page let me see okay you can see uh, this is an error so this is uh, nothing but error dot error dot html that we have uh, uploaded okay so uh, i know that is pretty simple to do a uh, simple setup to do uh, but you will get all the privilege of uh, scaling up servers or load balancing um, you know all those things you don't need to worry about uh, anything uh, so you know it will be definitely a good op option to host static websites uh, you can't host uh, you know dynamic websites like uh, you know PHP, web php websites or dot net or uh, jsp sites you know you can't host all those uh, kind of websites mm. so this supports only static website hosting okay so so as i told definitely uh, that'll be a good choice if you want to host your static websites uh, um, in s3 okay so that's it uh, please reach out to me if you have if you have any uh, doubts or clarification please feel free to uh, reach out to me 
thank you very much for watching and uh, the most important thing uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, so that if i upload new uh, videos then you will get a notification uh, thanks once again have a nice day